Where's your suit? Just once when I say suit up, I wish you'd put on a suit. I Where's your suit? Suit up. These videos are not for children. If you're a children, then piss off. Hey there, it's me, your least favorite YouTuber, Vianfuso. And this is How I Met Your Father, the show. How I Met Your Mother very quickly became a lot of people's go-to comfort show. I remember me and a group of my friends would watch it seemingly religiously. We got together to watch new episodes, we would binge watch the older episodes over some sandwiches, and we weren't the only ones. With the ridiculous success the show saw, it seemed like only a matter of time before we saw a follow-up. It was rumored for quite some time that we'd see a show following the events of How I Met Your Mother that would show the perspective of the mother leading up to meeting Ted. And while that would make for a really good series and a really interesting watch and concept, you know, making these shows shows that you could watch back to back, full start to finish, or hell, even watch an episode of one and then watch an episode of the other just to see how they link up. There's a lot that could have been done there. But all hope for such a project was lost when How I Met Your Mother actually condensed what could have been an entire series into an episode. And a pretty touching, heartbreaking episode of that, titled How Your Mother Met Me. Which is one of the standout episodes of the show's final season, so no complaints there. But even after the show had ended, it was revealed that we would in fact see a sequel series of sorts entitled How I Met Your Dad. I remember hearing a whole lot about this project, but seeing a whole lot of nothing. Me and my friends eagerly waited for the show to make it to air, and potentially redeem what we saw as one of the biggest betrayals we had ever experienced at the hands of a TV show. How I Met Your Mother was truly the Saint Elsewhere of its time. So having the same dream team who put together the first show could have really gone either way. We all loved the first nine seasons of the show, but we also hated them for the last 44 minutes of it. So the question was, would they let us down again? The answer is no, because the network beat them to the punch. What? What? How I Met Your Mother creators wrote a plot for How I Met Your Dad following the Himium, and yes, that's what I will be referring to it as, the Himium series finale. But it never got picked up. Three years after the fact, Isaac Aptaker and Elizabeth Berger decided they were going to give it a try. And nothing ever came of this version of the show. There was no official air date, it's never been officially released, but a pilot was in fact shot and later leaked. And it included some actors I myself am personally fond of. You got Durs from Workaholics, Harvey Dent from Gotham, that's all I really recognize, but still, it's something. It's nice to see a familiar face or two. How I Met Your Dad would follow series lead Sally, and would detail her journey to finding the love of her life and father of her children after opening up with a character in the midst of a divorce. This got so far into development that not only was a pilot for the show shot, but the show was even promoted with a trailer making the rounds back in the day. Unfortunately, CBS canceled its plans for the show. Not ruling out an eventual return from said series, but putting it on hold indefinitely. Interestingly enough, this pilot has actually become available to us. So if you guys might be interested in a video about the show that lived and died in the span of one episode, let me know in the comment section below by saying, Vampires don't sparkle, Robin sparkles. I don't know, I, I, I just really make this shit up as I go along, just roll with it. Following the failure of How I Met Your Dad, the future looked bleak for Himium fans, as bleak as the future of the actual series was. But that's all changed as the project seems to be moving forward now with a whole new cast, and a whole new plot, and a whole new name. It's a new project. Basically a completely different thing that is still somehow exactly the same. Hulu has ordered a How I Met Your Mother sister show called How I Met Your Father. Ah uh, yes, the obvious next step in the How I Met Your Naming convention. We now return to How I Met Your Father. The show will have no connection to the past project of a similar name, or to the original How I Met Your Mother franchise. Instead, it will only be borrowing a framing device and basic plot from its predecessors. The show will star Hilary Duff, Lizzie McGuire herself as series lead Sophie, along with a cast of other people that I, to be honest with you, am completely unfamiliar with. Oh, and Josh Peck will also be there. That's not a complaint, it's just a statement. 
Playing the Bob Saget to Hilary Duff's Josh Radner is Kim Cattrall. I'm sorry, that, that was unnecessarily confusing. Kim Cattrall will be playing the narrator who is Sophie in the future. So she's older Hilary Duff. The characters outside of the lead are Valentina, Sophie's roommate and best friend, who is an adventurous, accomplished stylist. Her boyfriend Charlie, a socially oblivious model. Jesse, the hopes-to-be musician and current Uber driver, who also lives with his best friend Sid. And then there's Jesse's adopted sister, Ellen, who is new in town and newly single. And the reoccurring cast consists of long-distance girlfriends and Tinder matches, so they're trying to make this as current as currently possible. The show will be getting all of 10 episodes to try and wow fans of the original series. Oh, wow. And it'll be airing on Hulu on January 18th. So, you know, new year, new lead protagonist. I've heard some people complain that this is being created in place of a quote-unquote proper sequel series. And I just gotta say, really, you're out of your goddamn minds. They couldn't end that show properly the first time around. You want to make them dig that back up and do it all over again? No, thank you. No, thank you. Fool me once for nine years? Shame on you. But fool me again after you just fooled me for nine years? No. Absolutely not. There is literally nothing more that I want to see that cast of people get together for outside of a reunion show. Please do not touch that franchise. You have done enough. No thank you. It's interesting to see the developmental hell this show sat through before finally making it to air. I mean, this is what? It's third attempt at making a go at this? That's impressive. Some projects don't even get afforded one chance, and yet this one has got three. Which means there's only six more lives left in this proverbial cat before all is said and done. In all seriousness, I completely understand why they're trying to capitalize off How I Met Your Mother. It was a great show that many people have fond memories of. It was a show that had a rabid audience. There was a huge fan base here. But it's also a show that ended eight years ago. We're talking about something that's nearly a decade old at this point. And yeah, sure, while it had quite the fan base back in the day, I have to question, is that fan base still just as strong? Time's passed, people have moved on. I mean, wasn't that the point of the finale? Isn't that what they were trying to tell us? Maybe they should take their own advice, I don't know. And speaking of the finale, the show's ending kinda created some cynicism in some viewers. There's some people who have never gone back and rewatched the show after that. There's some people who stayed on the brand for nine years and then completely disavowed it by the end of it. I just don't know if the love is still there. Maybe it is. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm just saying, I don't know if it's quite as strong as it once was. I understand how it could be appealing to proceed on and try to recapture the magic, but lightning hardly ever strikes twice. And because it carries its namesake, it will inevitably be compared to its parent show. And those are some pretty big shoes to fill. As always, I'm skeptic but hopeful while approaching this show. Despite the name, I think this show should be seen as its own thing entirely. If you're going in with such high expectations, you're more likely to be let down. If the show could be half as entertaining as the original, then I'd put it down as a win. Because that's hard to accomplish. I'm interested in seeing what comes next. And I hope you guys will be joining me for that journey in January. Because you know that I'm going to be talking about it here. With that being said, I was your least favorite YouTuber, V Infuso, and I thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Enjoy that image the next time you're snacking on Janet's dusty cheese balls. Farewell! I am vengeance. I am the knight. And that was V Infuso. Just remember, if you're not tuning in, then you're missing out. So, if you like the words that came out of his mouth hole, and you too would like to become a V-generate, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, nerds! And if you're not joining the fun, you're in for one bad day. And you know what they say about having one bad day. <laughs> Catch him next time. Same bad time. Same bad channel.